In this video, I'm talking about basic objectives in my How to Play Backgammon series. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think and what you'd like to see in future videos in the comments below and I'll work on that. So we're going to talk about the basic objective. So this is the backgammon board. It's a green board with uh, 24 black and white points, and you have red on one side and blue on the other side. And the objective for red is to bring the checkers around in this way in the clockwise direction. And once all of the checkers are in the home board here to start bearing off. Uh, and you want to do that before your opponent. And Blue's objective is to do the same thing in the reverse, and blue is going in the counterclockwise direction. So blue's going to want to bring these checkers out this way and these checkers to this quadrant and then continue all the way to the home board and start bearing off the checkers. So this is an example of a roll in the opening position. Uh, red rolls a 6-5. So with this, uh, red can move one checker from this point called the 24 point here. They're numbered 1 through 24 here uh, because this is the first point and this is the farthest point is the 24. So red can move six points from the 24 to the 18 with the 6 and then continue from 18 to the 13 for five more with the 5 to play like this. And this arrow shows what would happen. And this would be the resulting position. One checker would remain here. And now there would be six checkers here. Um, so that's how red would play uh, an opening 6-5. Let's say blue rolls the same 6-5 after red plays a 6-5. Blue would play it in the same way, but now going in the other direction. And the arrow shows where the blue checker would go. And the opening roll uh, and the resulting position would look like this. Now, let's say both players do that again, another 6-5 for red and another 6-5 for blue. This will be the resulting position. Now, there's virtually no contact between the armies, just one point here. Um, so there's not going to be a lot of conflict, unlikely to be much hitting at all. This is basically a straight race. So red is going to want to bring all the checkers from the 13 point down into this quadrant and then subsequently into this quadrant when all the checkers are in red's home board. Red can start bearing off. And similarly, blue has the same objective uh, going in the other direction. Blue wants to bring these checkers down into this quadrant and then subsequently into blue's home board. Once all of blue's checkers are in the home board, blue can start bearing off the checkers. So you'll get to a position similar to this as they start bringing the checkers in. And then once all the checkers are born in, uh, they can start bearing off. So, uh, and then whoever bears off all the checkers first wins. I say backgammon is easy to learn, but hard to master. The winner is the one who bears off faster. So in this position, let's say red rolls a 6-5. Now, once all the checkers are born into the board, red can start bearing off. So with the 6, you can bear off a checker by playing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And you can put it in the checker tray here, or some people put it off to the side. But that's how you can play the six. With the five, you can do the same thing with one checker from the five point. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, you could also play from the six point to the one point, but then you wouldn't be taking a checker off. So taking another checker off is better. This is what it looks like. The arrows show where they go. And this would be the resulting position. Now, let's say uh, red rolls a 6-1 instead. The 6 is the same thing. You would play the 6 off. Now, with the 1, you cannot take a checker off because you don't have a checker on the 1 point or also called the ace point. So you can move any of the other checkers 1 point. You can move a second checker from the 6 to the 5, one from the 5 to the 4, one from the 4 to the 3, one from the 3 to the 2, or one from the 2 to the 1. In this case, you would move one from the 2 to the 1 to fill in that empty space. And this is what the resulting position would look like. 
So that was the overview of the basic objectives in Backgammon in my How to Play Backgammon series. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this video. Please like and subscribe and you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you'd like to see in future videos and I'll work on that. I look forward to seeing you in future videos and until then, keep rolling your dice.